Ari, good evening. This is the church in Seaside where Dr. King visited, a time and place where history was made. Edward Wilson was sitting in the church pews when Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. visited Friendship Baptist Church in Seaside back in 1961. This is the pulpit that uh, Dr. King spoke on. I just remember him coming by a place like Friendship and to deliver a message with us, you know. It was quite inspirational. To stand up for freedom together, knowing that we will be free one day. He says years later, Dr. King's message of love and peace still lives in his community, something he is grateful for. I would like to thank him for the legacy that he had and what he stood for. And I hope some of you rub off on us that we will be more better. That same message of justice and equality that Dr. King fought and died for is what awakened a generation of civil rights activists like Mel Mason. What we're hoping today is that people pick up Dr. King's message and continue the struggle to use his example and, and his legacy as a way of steeling ourselves for the ongoing battle for justice in, in this in the society. Raised in Seaside, he sees how far his city has come along and how far it still needs to go. The work is continuous, the work is arduous, the work is hard, and sometimes the work is scary, but we can't give up. Dr. King fought all the way until he was killed, and we have to have that same mentality because the society is still an unjust society. It is still a racist society, and so we have a responsibility to carry on the struggle. And Leslie, back in the 60s, MLK also spoke Ari. at Monterey Peninsula College. Ari, absolutely. It was in 1961. Classes that morning were canceled so people could listen in on Dr. King's lecture. Later on that day, he spoke to a full house about the power of nonviolence. Ari, back to you.